The Origin of Emperor Liang's Jeweled Repentance With regards to the Emperor Liang's Jeweled Repentance, Emperor Liang refers to the Emperor Liang Wu, 464 to 549 AD, who originated this great repentance ritual. Jeweled means praiseworthy, and repentance, kasamayati in Sanskrit, refers to the feeling of guilt for having done something bad and the resolution to correct past mistakes. How much merit comes from participating in the Emperor Liang's Jewel Repentance Service? Boundless merits, of course. I will just talk about one aspect of the Jeweled Repentance Service at this time and tell you about its origins to strengthen your faith in it. Buddha Dharma talks about cause and effect. Everything has its cause and its effects. And whenever there is a cause, there will be a consequence. So then, what is the cause of the Emperor Liang's jeweled repentance? Liang Wu was a benevolent emperor who took good care of the three jewels and was a great devoted supporter of Buddhism. However, Queen Qi was wicked and ruthless. She was a jealous person who hated everyone inside the palace, including the imperial preceptor, a Zen master known as the Venerable Bao Zi, a highly virtuous and wise monk who was the Emperor Liang's Dharma teacher. When she died, the karmic obstructions she had accumulated due to her extreme jealousy caused her to reincarnate as a python. Despite her hateful nature, the kindly Emperor Liang wanted to save her, and his compassion led to the creation of the service we know as the Emperor Liang's Jeweled Repentance. Queen Qi, while alive, saw the Emperor making offerings to the Venerable Master Bao Zi with much devotion, and she wanted to make an offering too. But did she make an offering with a virtuous mind? No. Her offering was the result of her wicked intentions. She offered him a bun that was full of meat. However, the Venerable Bao Zi was a highly attained monk who had enough spiritual power to know the minds of others. Consequently, Queen Qi's jealous hatred could do him no harm. Like the Monkey King, a famous character in the Journey to the West, whose tricks could not help him escape the Buddha's grasp, the wicked queen's tricks were obvious to the venerable Bao Zi. He foresaw her intentions and quietly prepared a healthy vegetarian bun in advance. Legend has it that in the old days, the sleeves of robes worn during prayer had wide slits in them and were not sewn up as they are today. In order to secret his vegetarian bun, Master Bao Zi sewed up the slits in his sleeves, and that style has been used ever since. When he received Queen Chi's offering of a meat bun, Master Bao Zi secretly switched it and ate only the vegetarian bun that he had hidden in his sleeves. The queen then went to the emperor and said, How is Master Bao Zi so great? He eats a meat bun when it is served to him just like anyone else. Master Bao Zi then took the queen's meat bun out of his sleeve and said, the meat bun you offered is still here. Because of the queen's jealousy and her disrespect toward the three jewels, she reincarnated as a python. Pythons have many worms throughout their bodies which nibble away at their flesh and cause them to suffer endless prickling pain. Finally, the queen could not bear the pain any longer and she crawled into the palace to beg Emperor Liang for help. The emperor, in order to save the queen, asked Master Bao Zi to gather together ten monks of high spiritual attainment and set them to work compiling what became known as the Emperor Liang's Jeweled Repentance. Then they brought together a large group of monks to conduct the Jeweled Repentance service to help Queen Qi repent her evil deeds. Due to the merits gained from performing the Emperor's Repentance service, 
Queen Chi was liberated from her python incarnation and transcended it to enter a heaven world and sang the praises of her beloved Emperor Liang Wu. Perhaps now you can understand how great is the virtue to be gained from participating in the Emperor Liang's Jewel Repentance. The Emperor Liang's Jewel Repentance is the royal road to repentance. If you want to get the treasure of Buddha Dharma, you have to start with the Emperor Liang's Repentance. It is a road sign and finally the key to the treasure. It teaches us how to repent and how to make and keep our vows. Participating in the jeweled repentance enhances our prajna wisdom, wakes up our dharma body, and leads us to liberation. No matter how knowledgeable you are, or how successful you are in your secular career in the sentient world, you will only be making your physical body, born of your parents, more comfortable. That is not your real body, and it cannot be relied upon. I hope all of you will sincerely participate in the Jewel Repentance Service to enhance your Dharma bodies and your wisdom and transfer the merits to bring world peace and to purify the minds of all people everywhere.